Magnetometers are sensors that you sometimes see in UAV stabilization systems. I mean, you don't, you don't see them in the low-end units, but in the high-end units, uh, they're there. And a magnetometer measures the angle to the magnetic north, which, which really has nothing to do with the so-called true north, which is what we think of when we think of north. And the magnetic north is, is constantly uh, shift, moving its location. And in fact, the government puts out these big tables that you can use to, uh, you know, based on your current location, do uh, know uh, what's the uh, the correction factor to go from magnetic north to true north. Now, of course, you know the tables are useless if you don't know exactly where you are. So unless you have some sort of maybe GPS reading, they're not going to help you. And the tables are, I mean, I think they're updated once a year and they're huge. So I actually don't know of any UAVs that have these tables on board so they can do the correction to figure out, you know, exactly, you know, which way is true north. But, but I think a magnetometer is really handy as a way of knowing relative direction. You know, if, if you tell it to go in, you know, east or in this, you know, this direction, it'll know when there's five degrees of drift and it'll know, okay, I need to come back. So they're, they're really handy for that uh, because a nice, a nice uh, feature of magnetometers is that they don't have drift. You know, if, so if, if you tell it, you know, I want to go in this direction, you can count on, on it knowing when you have deviated from that because the magnetometer itself is not going to drift. It's not going to, you know, there's no accumulation of error in there. Now, the problem with magnetometers is that, you know, just like any other magnet, they're affected by uh, magnetic fields. And of course, you know, the first place that you, that you need to think of when you think of a magnetic field is say, an electric motor. You know, it's got the permanent magnet, magnets in there, but when the motor is running, uh, it's creating another magnetic field which is going to vary by the speed of the motor. So not only is it affecting the magnetometer, but it's affecting it different amounts depending on the speed of the motor. So you want to have you want to have the sensor at least a foot away from, from a motor, but it really depends on, on the airplane, you know, how far away you need to be. Uh, but also, big chunks of, of metal, like steel, are, affect the reading. So if you have like a wing joiner, you gotta, you know, you can assume that's gonna affect it. If you have a big steel landing gear, that can affect it. So, so there, there's, there's several potential sources of error for the magnetometer. Uh, and, there, and there are ways of uh, calibrating it so that you can get a, a good value out of it. And once you've calibrated it, you can count on getting good numbers out of it. So I, I think it's a useful sensor to have, uh, especially in combination with other sensors. And uh, till next time.